Hey guys, so this is part four of the weapons instructional. Oh, <laughs> yeah, this one has been really long, but we're going to complete it. We're going to complete it. Yeah. So, um, I decided to redo part four because I've noticed that many things were missing, but uh, we're going to talk about the rest of the thing. And specifically, now we're going to talk about special effects. So, this one has been one of the most um, asked for questions in the game like uh, a bunch of things like for special effects if you don't know what special effect is is all five stars have this uh, special effect this one here let me show you one that is not uh, refined this special effect here so I'm gonna talk about each and every one of them so you can understand what exactly they are so um, you get you pre you can't choose these you get these randomly when you actually get the weapon so yeah you just have to keep getting the same weapon to get the the one that you actually need but in different situations you can uh, use these effects uh, effectively so we're gonna start off with the very first one uh, that I want to talk about and it's actually the worst one of all so if you get it you're probably not gonna be happy with it is let me see which weapon it is da, 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 da. Uh, here we go. Crowley has it. So it's healing received. So healing received 15% is probably the worst special effect. Uh, this pr really helps if um, you're pretty much dying and one of your healers heal you and you receive 15% more, more heals. And that's pretty much it. And uh, other parts in the game, if you have a bunch of shields and you already have full life, this is completely useless. 100% useless most of the time. So if you're not running healers and you're not losing life, this is going to be really useless. So this is prob probably the worst effect of all. So if you get a weapon uh, that is non-exclusive and you get this one, don't be afraid to use it as food and try to get another one. You know, the non-exclusives. We already covered this over here. If you get any of these weapons that have heal received, don't be afraid to use it as food and try to get it again. Don't don't worry about it. That's that that's an that's a easy straight off way to actually use this. All right. So the next one we're going to talk about is defense penetration. Uh, this one this one here because this is refinement bonus we're going to talk about refinement in a second but this one defense penetration 15 percent the thing is about these special effects you, there's no there's no place that can actually tell you how much exactly does it take away if it's from the entire defense from the from the enemy or is it just the base defense which is two two things that are very different uh if it if this actually takes from the total defense of the enemy, this is a very powerful effect. If it's just the base attack, it's not going to help a lot. It's going to take a, bit, a little bit of defense, and it's not going to really do much. So the question is, is defense penetration good? I would say yes, because most of the time when I use these types of uh, weapons with defense penetration, I do notice that the damage does go through and it does go a little bit uh, higher when you actually do that. And uh, yeah, that, that's definitely something to take into account. And uh, there is a theory that defense actually makes um, enemies crit less. I don't believe in this theory, but that is just a theory, game theory that been going around there. So if you get defense penetration, don't be afraid to use it. It's it's a it's a good uh, special effect there. So the next one we're gonna talk about is mana gain. Let me see who has mana gain. That would be non. Yeah. So mana gain is pretty good actually. Uh, it, it mana gain. What it does is that it it raise it, when you when your hero gains mana by stones or on defense by turns, it will raise that percentage of mana by twelve percent. In the past, this used to be just stones, but they switch it to mana gain specifically. Because uh, uh, in the past you only get that extra extra mana when you were hit by stones on defense, so they just decide to put uh, mana gain 12%. So this is pretty good. It's not one of the best, but it's pretty good. It does help you go a little bit higher, just a little bit. Uh, this is actually really good on heroes that are slower. 
um, cause I've noticed that, uh, ma when you throw a bunch of stones, there is like this one hero that's a little bit behind, so that 12% does help him or him or her actually get to the 100% that you actually need there. So mana gain is a good one, actually. So, the next one is attack. Let me see who has attack. Here we go. So this one we can actually test and actually see how much you actually get. Because we do have two weapons of the same, but uh, the one is not attack. So I'm going to show you right now the difference in attack. So let's take out good old Thor, because he actually loves this weapon. Uh, ta -ta -ta -ta. So we got the one that is attack. So let me see if I can get the other one first. Okay, so we have the attack. It's gonna be lower. So we have uh, 4,991 attack. So now we're gonna switch it to the other weapon, which is the 10% 10% attack. So now we went up to 5,095. So we actually raised a uh, hundred a hundred and four attack so that ten percent is gonna raise a hundred and four attack so the original amount was four thousand nine hundred ninety one if that would be ten percent of a four hundred nine hundred ninety one that would have been four hundred and ninety nine point one uh, attack so definitely that stat does not affect uh, the whole attack that that we're actually getting I think it's more about the base attack for Thor so the base attack is uh, Thor's attack level without runes without dragon without ascension without weapons that his that's his actual attack so that's that's the amount that's gonna raise but a hundred and four extra attack on Thor it's pr it's a pretty big upgrade so so if we switch here a hundred attack it's it's a really pretty up big 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 upgrade so this is actually one of the best buffs that you actually actually can have for a hero because a hundred is, is is really a lot I, even though it's it's compared to five thousand a hundred is, is it is pretty big so if you do get uh, this actual buff I do recommend to actually go all the way this is one of the best ones because uh, that that big boost that you're actually getting there is really nice actually really really nice so for next one is crit chance and for crit chance we think it's for where are you come on come on oh here we go Colette so Colette has this weapon here has crit chance so with when you have a weapon with crit chance you have to take it to, into account a few things um, is it a weapon that already gives crit that's a very important question if the weapon uh, does uh, already has uh, crit damage that is really important to take note uh, is the hero already has a high amount of crit with his abilities? So if the question and uh, all these questions I just said is yes, then crit chance is good in that situation. Because for example, Colette is not going to be a hero that, that has a lot of crit. Let me show you real quick Colette here. Uh, she's going to have a 15% chance. That's with her weapon and 5%. So if we check resonance, if you have it uh, level 22 like I have it, that's gonna be crit chance 5%. But if you check, it's gonna do crit damage 11%. So that's gonna be extra damage and all that. So that's really, really nice. So why is this good on Colette? Cause uh, remember that you, you don't only have to uh, follow the questions that I had. There's other things as well because I usually pair her with non and non <laughs> gives her 30% uh, crit and also 60% crit damage so if you combine that it's gonna be 45% crit chance on Colette so the result is when she goes snip everybody dies because she's gonna do a bunch of of, um, of crits with the, with the scissors 
and it's going to be 60% additional because it has crit damage. So in her case, since I have a uh, searcher at, um, at plus 5, that buff is good on her. Because if it weren't for this, uh, it would have been just a uh, 35% per uh, crit chance. But now we're having 45% crit chance plus the attack and plus the crit damage from, from Searcher. So in this situation, it's good. If, you, if you're not in a situation like this, if, and in all the questions I asked you, uh, the weapon uh, doesn't, have any, uh, doesn't produce crit, the hero doesn't produce crit, or it doesn't have uh, an innate abilities to, create, to, to do crit, uh, like, like in Awakenings and things like that, then crit chance is not so good, sadly. So another example that I can show you about this is this amazing weapon that I actually got and uh, it got crit. Where are you? Here we go. So this weapon has crit 10, 10%. So it says when casting a skill, uh, it does 50% uh, crit damage. So this is really nice for a hero that has a high amount of crit. So um, heroes that had a lot of, a lot of crit is like a uh, Sigmund has a lot of crit and uh, like 30% crit and then the 5% original and that's pretty much 45% or even higher if especially if you have her next to searcher. So is he's gonna have like um, 65 possibly 55% crit chance thanks to this special effect and 50% crit damage. So in that situation is very, very um, actually useful. And also another example is Pearl. Pearl is amazing with this weapon because you get with Searcher and the 10% crit chance. So it's really, really powerful effect. So in that situation, this is amazing. But for example, if you have a hero with zero crit, nowhere to be found, and you just have 10% crit, this is not good. So you have to evaluate your situation for this, in this situation. Because in the good situation, crit chance is amazing. Uh, if you can get a hero to get crit chance to like 55, 70%, 80, that is perfect. You're gonna destroy everybody like this. So do take that into account. And now we're gonna talk about crit damage. So pretty much the same questions as uh, the crit chance one, but this time it has to be some a weapon, like Palmyra's weapon, that does crit um, pretty often. And, and on, on Palmyra, it's gonna be 100% chance. And crit chance here, yeah, that is a really nice buff. So uh, if, if Palmyra has this buff, she's gonna do 100% chance of critting and on top of that, it's going to raise that crit damage amount to uh, to 30%. So if if she's doing, uh, let's see, 1,000 damage, she's going to do 1,300. And 2,000 do, is doing like uh, 2,600. And that is a really big, really big difference. So this is super powerful on a crit weapon. But it's usually not very good on a weapon like... Um, like a shield weapon, like uh, here, uh, Midas's weapon or Alia's weapon. This is not good on on a, on a shield weapon, no. Unless the hero has a really high crit right off the bat, uh, it's not a good. So so you have to take that into account as well. Crit chant, um, crit damage, sorry, has to be in a hero that crits a lot, or in situation that crits a lot. So, defense, uh, defense, defense. Who had defense again? I think it was oh yes Alden there we go so Alden 12% um, defense let's check the difference here real quick we're gonna choose Thor again no we can't actually choose Thor hmm let's just choose Alden why not it is his weapon after all so do we have a second one just like this one um, well it can be any weapon as long as it doesn't have defense okay Let's switch it here. So right now we have 4,249. And now we're going to switch to his weapon. So we have now 4,352. So that's going to be more than 100. Uh, that's... 
That was 49, 1, 3. So that is uh, 100, like 112 maybe, like 112 I think. So it's still a, a, a higher, it's it's uh, pretty much 112 so-so. Uh, I'm not I'm not uh, exactly there, but just have an idea. 110 something, so it's obviously higher than the 10 percent. But you're gonna get uh, an extra defense there. So this is actually uh, some people have been asking me in the past if this is a good buff. Uh, usually 10 percent attack is better because it's your the best defense is a good offense. So the ability to kill the enemy before they have the opportun opportunity to kill you is better, but. If you have defense on a weapon, don't be afraid to upgrade it. Uh, especially on heroes that you want them to survive more. Especially on heroes that you want that are broken on defense. Like Mildred is an incredibly powerful hero to actually have that ability. Uh, 12 defense. Sadora, you want her to survive a lot. And defense is going to help her a lot. So, yeah. So don't be afraid to actually upgrade this weapon, uh, this special a weapon that has a special effect with defenses, because um, it is underrated and on defense is very powerful upgrade, for sure. I highly recommend it if you get it there. So now we're gonna talk about one of my favorite, if not the best, of all of the of the abilities here is life steal. So I'm sure that Chloe, yeah, Chloe has lifesteal here. So lifesteal pretty much means 15% of all the damage you do, you are going to gain it in life. So this ability is broken. Why? Because for example, if if all your heroes, well, for example, if you have lifesteal, a bunch of lifesteal already from your runes, and you have weapons with lifesteal, you don't need healers. Period. If you go on campaign, if you go to these these um, uh, stages here, uh, that is to actually get mats, you won't need any healers at all. Uh, just because you have life steal, you do all the damage you do, you're gonna heal it up again. So this is one of the most powerful special effects if in the game. In my opinion, it's the best. Cause um, yeah, you you can build teams that don't have healers. Just and, and you can depend on the life steal. Uh, if it's a hero that actually does a lot of damage, Thor does a lot of damage, uh, Palmyra does a lot of damage, uh, a bunch of heroes uh, that uh, Deedlight does does a lot of damage. All those heroes that do a lot of damage on defense, they are gonna love life steal and they're gonna have a very hard time dying. And your heroes and your enemies even more problem trying to kill them, cause they cause, cause the, the, they're almost about to kill them and then they go off and then they get gain life and then they gain shields over it and it's and the whole the whole uh, uh, house of cards comes tumbling down after that so yeah if you get life steal do not feel it at, feed it as food it's one of the best special effects in the game for sure all right uh, so the next one is HP 12 percent um which which was it uh, here we go. So Sigmund. Sigmund, uh, on this weapon, HP 12% is not very good. Where exactly is this good? This is going to be good on a weapon that has shields. So uh, this weapon is pre uh, Reggie's weapon, Reggie's bottle. It's actually really good if, if, if he had 11%. Uh, I'm sorry, 12% HP, because the actual shield that you create is calculated by your total HP that you have on uh, on your hero. So this 50 this 75% on Reggie, it's actually going to give you a 75% uh, of his total HP. So that's going to ha have a very important uh, uh, place there. One of the best weapons to actually have this this one is on on Midas's axe because Midas, even though this one has life steal, he doesn't do a lot of damage. But if it had HP and twelve percent instead, in the beginning of the game, um, in the fight, he would have um got uh, given shields to everybody on the entire team based on the amount of HP he already has. So usually you're gonna give this weapon on a hero like Midas or or um, 
mouth ward which ha he has crazy amounts of HP and you add the 12% for HP uh, from from one of the special effects from the weapon is going to be even more shields added there so in that situation that's that uh, special effect is amazing but outside of that it's not really good it's not good on, a, on an attack hero it's not good on everything else that it's not shields so you can t you can decide there if, if you want uh, that that special effect or not. Now l we're gonna finalize with the v with the last one, which is uh, plus skill. I have a bunch of alias with. There we go. Uh, I have a bunch of uh, like these with skill. I think where is the other one? Huh. Apparently I only have uh, two there, so that's fine. Da, 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 da. Okay, that's fine. All right, so I have two of these. So plus skill level of the hero. This pretty much means I'm gonna show you real quick a hero that is affected nicely. So Isadora loves this one because of her ability. When you actually um, give give this weapon with the plus one, when you activate her ability, she's going to give 5% extra defense to every single hero on your team. So usually, if, instead of 100% defense, if you give her a weapon with, with the plus, plus one uh, skill, uh, that's actually going to give 105%. If you, if you use it, you're going to notice that. So that is a really powerful effect on her. So you have to take into account which hero you're going to give this weapon to. So that she's a very good example. Let me see of another good hero here. None is a good good example as well because she's going to do extra damage. She's going to give thir uh, three percent attack to everybody, and going to give extra damage five percent to every to everybody. That's that that is pretty powerful. And to have plus one and give three percent extra attack to everybody, that's very very awesome. Very very plus one. But but if it's a if it's a hero that is just giving like um like a, a little bit of damage like Elmas Elmas is not a damage hero so giving this to uh, Elmas is not gonna do much not really gonna do it at all so in that situation it's bad however there's one hero that this ability is uh, this uh, uh, special effect is broken and that is with Damon uh, why because look at this <laughs> uh, he's gonna do 50% more attack and gonna get an additional 1% energetic and it's gonna give a minus 2% exhaust so so that pretty much means that he's gonna give uh, give 4% uh, um, pretty much that um, 8% more a, a minus 8% exhaust effect to the enemy so that if if you're gonna play with Damon that's gonna suck up even more from your enemies and it's gonna give energetic more for for him so it's gonna give him a, that boost to actually do a lot more damage and suck that power from from your enemies if, if you have him at plus five so you do have to take this into account and if you have if you're fighting against another daemon this gives you the edge because the enemy daemon is going to be sucked more than yourself <laughs> if that makes any sense because usually people are not going to use the plus skill on on him uh, on on defense and things like that uh, especially this since all this is so random so this is very powerful on Damon for sure uh, let me see let me see if I can find other heroes I think searcher yeah searcher would love to have to actually get, do this because she'll get she'll give three three percent more attack and all those these stat cool stat heroes are all, all gone actually going to do really nice with that so uh, that's pretty much it guys Okay, so that, <laughs> without me planning, that became way too long. So I'm going to stop there uh, for special effects. And on the next video, I'm going to be talking about uh, refinement. Uh, so that's a really important part of the game there. All right. Uh, thank you very much for watching, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.